what is going on aquarius it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again for the remix yes indeed to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for mid-month june the 15th through the 30th shout out to every single one of you guys that has clicked this video because y'all know i love my aquarius aquarius okay girl Shorty, let me tell you what's going on around here. We got some new, 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 new news. As you guys know, we have added a Patreon. Patreon, you guys can come a member of the Scorpion Reds Collector Gatherers Group. This is a new interactive platform for us to have a private atmosphere where we can talk. You guys can get some short private readings. Um, so once you become a member, it is basically access to me where we can be able to talk and chat and interact with each other. And very soon we will be having the call-ins and all of that stuff like that. We have exclusive readings with adult content. <laughs> so, um... We have two different tiers over on Patreon. We have the $1.99 tier and the $4.99 tier. The $4.99 tier is the tier where you have exclusive content to the, the sex scandal and secrets reading. And um, the daily... Oh, excuse me. My goodness, my arm is hurting you guys. Um, the daily sexual healing reading and stuff like that. So you guys come on over there and join me over to Patreon. And again, Patreon, especially if you cannot afford a personal or private reading, um, you can become a member over there and have access to be able to get um, quick readings. You won't be able to get basically a personal or private reading is when I'm using like all of these decks and I'm giving you an in-depth detailed reading where we're probably spending like maybe 45 minutes to an hour you know digging deep in your you know what i'm saying like we're going deep um so this is an easier way for you guys to have access to me and like i said it's private it's not all on blast on youtube so if you want to become a member come on over to patreon and thank you guys for all the love and support and you guys pushing me with these decks y'all been sending and shout out to everyone who's been sending support and love and light through the amazon wish list um we got the zen tarot deck now of course y'all know we also have the uh, Game of Thrones deck that just came here. We got the Healing Light Lenormand deck. Um, yeah, we got like a lot of love being so. And then we also have this brand new Love Oracle deck because you guys have been sending love through the PayPal. So thank you guys so, so much for the support. And um, what else was I about to say? I was about to say. Oh, yes, if you guys want to book a personal and private reading with me, all of the links for everything, the Patreon, the Amazon wish list, the PayPal, um, the booking and how to link up with me is all in the about tab. So what you want to do if you want to book a personal or private reading with me, what you want to do is book and then link with me. You'll see my booking link which says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me and then you'll link up with me. You'll see my Instagram link right under there after you book your reading. If you don't have Instagram, you can feel free to um, contact me through Google Hangouts. If you don't have that app, it's a very easy app. You can download at any one of your um, application stores. Um, and you use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you want, um, if you don't want to get on camera to have a live reading with me, if you just want to have a private upload, there is an option for a video recap slash private upload. It's a $10 add-on, and you can use that if you want me to record your personal private reading and um, upload a private link to it so you can watch it back later. Or if, like I said, if you don't want to get live on camera with me, if you just want to submit your question. Now, if you want to just do it like that, what you need to do is only send me the question of what you want to know. Don't tell me the information pertaining what's going on and why you're asking that question okay because i don't want you to say well i just told you that okay so if you want to just do a direct upload and send your information of what you want to know just select either instagram or or um google hangouts after you book with me connect with me send me your question and i'm gonna record in about 24 to 48 hours you'll have your video okay so Let's get into the reading. And again, thank you guys so much for all the love, light, and support. Shout out to 31 Shadows. Shout out to my baby girl, Amanda. Shout out to my baby girl, Callie. Shout out to everyone who has been sending love and light. And if you do um, send something, especially through the Amazon wishlist, make sure that you write something so I can know 
who you are. I can shout you out and stuff like that. All right. So, uh, and 31 shadows, as soon as I slow down and, um, on getting these videos out and getting my personals out, um, contact me in the email. I will be giving you a free personal reading. Okay. So thank you so much for all the love and light and support 31 shadows. Thank you so much. Anyway, so of course, father God, thank you so very much. Thank you so, 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 so very much. Thank you so, so very much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for all the love and light and the generosity and the abundance that has been going around through Gemini season. I think everyone can feel it. We've just been having a lot of revelations, a lot of healing, and a lot of blessings coming to us through our healing, Father God. Like you were just really showing us how miraculous and how just wonderful you are, how gracious you are, and how forgiving you are. It don't matter what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, sometimes we got to deal with some hard, you know, karma and stuff from the mistakes that we make or whatever. But you always have a forgiving heart and you always show us a better way. And you always show us a path that was way better than something that we came from. So I just thank you so much for delivering us, Father God, from whatever that pain that we were living in a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. I thank you so much for that deliverance, Father God, and I thank you so much for bringing us here where we stand here today, just thankful for just everything that we have, because you always provide us with all the resources that we need, Father God. Thank you so much for your abundance, your love, and light. Please give the sign of Aquarius guidance for January what's going on in january for june the 15th all right through the 30th and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons and the love and light clearly that we must experience in january okay um thank you so much for all of the blessings the lessons and the love and light in the past present and future please father god give the sign of aquarius guidance for june the 15th through the 30th thank you again all right y'all what happened in january y'all okay what happened in January? What happened in January? Okay. Oh, and another thing, you guys. You guys will see me. Um, Right now, what I'm doing is, because of the cards, the decks that y'all been sending me, it's been pushing me to study. It's been pushing me to study. And I'm like really, really interested in learning numerology, cardamancy, and the Norman. It's like I'm I'm claiming it all at one time, but it's like it's probably not the best thing to do. But what is this? Ooh, love. La 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 I never thought that we would ever be more than friends. Cause ever since the day I saw you, I had deeper feelings. We both know it's something across the line. I don't know the fucking words. Ah, cause you don't go and have crazy. Cause I can't leave you alone. <laughs> Come on. What? Y'all gonna make me put that on. What? Cause I'm going half crazy Cause I can't leave you But can't get you out of my system <laughs> What's Aquarius? Leaving house Delor Y'all leaving a Delorius like that? Aquarius? Golly! Golly, Aquarius! Gosh! Hot to my lady Hi to my little girl, yes, ooh, cause we going half crazy, cause I can't leave you alone, I, oh, I gotta put that shit on, damn, y'all got me fucked up and fucked over, mo, y'all can't even do me like that, cause y'all just fucked me all in my head, hold on, hold on, what is it, music, soul child, Let me put ah Benita 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 A. Hey, I'm sorry, it's we got too much music going on in here. My brain is going crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, here we go. Boom.
Yeah, I got to go ahead and bang that junk for y'all real quick. Hold on. Yes, let me get this out here. Come on, who y'all got going to have crazy and love Aquarius? Ooh, do I got Aquarius in my chart? Ooh, ooh, I hope I do. I don't. I'm sorry. Shit. I'm trying to be here. Fence there would be. Ooh, the source. Why are you trying to block the source of this love, y'all? Hold on. Why are you not trying to recognize? I'm crazy because I can't. Can't get you out of my sister. Ah, Aquarius! Hold on, y'all got me eat up. Y'all got me feeling like this me, nigga. What's this postponement? You got to put this shit on pause right now. Hold on. Ooh, your mind is going crazy. Your mind going up crazy. Ooh, you trying to get some crow? <laughs> that existed. But this is exactly what the song is saying. The moment after, I Nowadays, look, postponement. Cause the, the mind is going crazy. But it's like, I love this motherfucker. I got, I'm going crazy. I don't know what the, what the source of all of these crazy ass emotions is right now, mo. Like, what the fuck? Wow. This been a crazy adventure. You like pausing this adventure. Really? Ooh. Wheel of Fortune. Change. To run. We used to know. Yeah. We used to laugh at your way. And while I used to tell my secrets. We used to chill and get down for forever, whatever together. Cause my mind's gonna have crazy. Cause I can't leave you alone. And the whole if it's worth me holding on. Now my mind's gonna have crazy. Cause I can't leave you alone. And I don't, don't know what to do now. Listen, we used to chill. Yeah, we used to hang. Yeah. Y'all used to chill. Look what it turned into, young. Look at that change. This adventure went <laughs> in, a, in a route that y'all wasn't expecting this shit to go, huh? I'm sorry, we had to have this experience. We had to have that experience, y'all. Y'all just don't even understand. Cause like that's just what I was hearing. La 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 la. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so let's get back into the reason. For the reason for the season of that song, y'all. Cause I'm trying to tell y'all it's something about this Gemini motherfucker season. Y'all motherfuckers been going crazy, young. People have been going crazy. Like this, this, this energy is fucking crazy. I and we don't know the source of this energy. Like this is the moon, bitch. It's the moon, bitch. I don't know. Sign. Like it's like a whole lot of good shit. It's like a whole lot of good and bad. Like shit that ain't. People that been doing their work, their blessings is coming. Remember when I kept telling y'all, fall, we gonna have it all. This is the beginning. This is the setup, baby. This is the setup for, look, we, we gonna slide right on in. And that, listen, 
listen, blame the source. I know you don't know who the source is of all of this this love and all of this shit. Like, what the fuck is this shit? But look, it's the listen. You don't know what the source of this shit is, and it's driving you crazy because y'all passion is just going too crazy right now. It's just like, listen, and this this honestly looks like fertilization. If you look, if you if you if she shit, you better watch your motherfucking ass. Bitch, that look like some sperm trying to break into a motherfucking egg and motherfucking, yeah, get into the sauce, bitch. Get into the sauce. Make it remorse. Nigga, was he making it remorse? Was he making it remorse? He, oh, he was about to really touch down and, 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 and he about to touch down, nigga. Touchdown. That nigga's about to touch down for real. And you say, oh, no, nigga. No, we gonna have to postpone this because my mind is going half crazy because I can't leave you alone. And I'm wondering, you know, if this is even worth holding on because, like, we painting this motherfucking canvas real fucking fast. I feel like whoever this is, whatever this is, and I'm feeling like this is a friend, someone that you never, I feel like this, this, this road, this adventure, some this shit listen to me i feel like this shit is blowing your mind and you just like ho 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 what are we doing <laughs> what are we doing like where the fuck is this coming from like where is this coming from where's the source of all of this passion and all of this shit like because i feel like this person is filling in the blanks like to your perfect picture real quick and you like oh my fucking god and it's this courage card right here it's like literally something is growing and i i promise y'all y'all better watch y'all to see if y'all pregnant oh listen to me look at this y'all don't this look like some sperm trying to get into the egg to fertilize an egg bitch mm. and you know fire and desire bitch that red that means mm-hmm I'm trying to get you to bed, bed, bed. Hold on, don't make me turn on some, some, some motherfucking cool ass motherfucker. What's this about? The, what, what is that boy name? Lord Jesus, and I know him in the name of Jesus. I can't even think of that boy damn stage name. Jay, whatever the fuck. Anyway, whatever the boy name that seen bed. I call the nigga Jay. I don't know what the fuck his stage name is. Anyway, there's a lot of good fortune and blessings coming. Like it's like this is a road like. Someone took courage. Ooh. And like what I'm getting here is like someone kind of snuck up behind someone and was just like, yeah, like what's up? You see how like that bigger flower is it's like kind of like over top of that other like, ooh, I just, I feel like it's a lot of sex. You see how that big flower is over top? I don't know. Is my mind just dirty? Am I seeing too much into it or whatever? But I'm just feeling like this person just kind of like snuck up on you one day and like came and just kissed you up behind your neck he was like oh nigga don't do that don't do that like why are you being all courageous like that nigga we is we even supposed to be fucking with each other like that mean you're just supposed to be cool and this nigga like look mama look mama why don't you go on down this adventure with me i'm trying to tell you i ain't gonna stay you wrong i ain't gonna do you no wrong mama i'm trying to look Come on now. You like, I don't know, nigga. Do I look like Alice in Wonderland? Do I look like I'm trying to be wandering in your land and shit? Ye like, bitch, yes. Come on. And I just feel like you scared to go. Everything is moving really fast. I really feel like everything is moving really fast. And you feel like you're in love already. And this shit is blowing your mind. And I don't think that you, you, you're not sure if you're ready to go down this adventure. But it's like. That wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Like, your luck and love is changing. Like, your luck and love is changing. That wheel of fortune is most definitely changing in your favor. Yes, honey. Y'all, a lot of y'all, y'all done manifested this shit. Y'all done manifested someone that snuck up on your ass. Like, yeah, like, what's popping, Slim? Be like, oh my God, what? Clarify this prayer, please. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, Zaddy in the oh, in the Ica. Come on, Zaddy with the caddy. Zaddy with the oh, and I told y'all, y'all motherfuckers pregnant. I told y'all, y'all bitches is pregnant. I told y'all, y'all bitches is pregnant. Didn't I tell y'all, y'all bitches is pregnant? They go to the gentlemen. 
It's the gentleman. This is the gentleman with the motherfucking anchor. This motherfucker, daddy gonna love you long time. Daddy here to love you long time. You don't got him hooked in. And he hooked because there's a baby. There is a baby, baby. And I told you, the baby is right there. The sperm has cracked the egg and it has fertilized. And there's no postponement on this. There is no return to sender. The stork is there to deliver a baby. You got a baby. There is a baby. He's locked in a baby. Bitch, this nigga done shot your fucking walls all the way to fuck up. And your brain is like, bitch... What the fuck done snuck up and grew up on my ass? What? Ooh, daddy loved me long time. I didn't I didn't know if I want to go down this road with you, but god damn, nigga, you be fucking the fuck off on me, boy. Yes, yes, yes. Bye la, bye la, on the dick, bye la. What? In the hole. So let's clarify. If you do me a favor, can you clarify this, this gentleman, this anchor, and this store, please? Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. Thank you. Hold on, you guys, for me. I'm sorry, I need me a Pepsi. Okay. Pepsi, young way and sponsor, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Pepsi, young way and go ahead. Go ahead and um, clarify this gentleman, the anchor in the store. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bad health. Courtship. Community. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, and this is what I'm getting here. I feel like this is someone that you just kind of met when you was just out and about and shit like that, and y'all was just dating and things. I didn't, I don't think that <laughs> this is someone that you just met out in the community. Like this is one of your friends. Like I really do feel like this is just one of your friends from your neighborhood or something like that. And like y'all just started like, like just bullshitting around, like kind of just talking to each other and shit like that, and. I feel like there might be some complications with the pregnancy. And if there isn't a pregnancy, it just, this stork might just be bringing in news of bad health or something like that in regards to this gentleman here. Because maybe this person just parties too, a, a lot and just drinks a lot or something like that. I feel like it might be a liver or like... Some type of stomach issue or like an ulcer, like a stomach ulcer. I don't know. Can you get ulcers from drinking or something like that? I feel like it has something to do with like ulcer, some type of stomach issue or or what a kidney stones or something like, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you're not pregnant, I feel like that. The gentleman that you're dating, like, you're really anchored in and you really, really like him. This is someone that you know from your community. This is someone that you know from your community that you just so happen to just start randomly dating. And I just feel like you guys kind of fell in love with each other. Like, you, he, grew, he grew on you fast. Like, I don't feel like you ever really looked at him like that. I do feel like if you're not pregnant, to please watch out because there is definitely pregnancy here. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to tell you, I see the cycle of life right here, and I see the cycle of life right here, and I see the cycle of life right here. I see an anchor. I see a lot of fucking, and I see that eventually that it's definitely going to come out that this thing. I heard pancreas. Um... I just heard pancreas. Uh, there's something wrong with the man's stomach area or something like that. Because he's like 37, here go 31, 39, between 31 and 39. Yeah, between the age of 31 and 39. And this person parties a lot. Like this part, This person used to party a lot. And then I feel like this person eats a lot of salt and eats a lot of bullshit. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. 
Dang, I feel better. Ooh, child, I'm, I'm sorry, bitch. Pepsi just do me. It do me. Real nasty. I love it. But yeah, I feel like early on in y'all's relationship, in y'all relationship, y'all gonna fall in love real quick. And I feel like one of the things that is gonna make you really fall in love with this person because you feel like you're gonna have to um yeah like in this and you you're gonna come out of your solitude with this person <laughs> you like this is someone that you trust this is someone that you know from your neighborhood this is a community friend or this is someone that you met out and you just feel like this person is trustworthy and early on i feel like there's gonna be pregnancy and you're gonna find out that this person might have issues with their stomach health issues and they're young, but it's just like they just gotta take care of themselves. And I can see you being like, it's okay, cause I'm about to just fucking cook for you every day. Like you know how Aquarius is. Like the Aquarius women I know, they some good ass cooks, man. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like what? We'll cook you up some shit to star. Like what? You done came out your st uh, the chair <laughs> and the chariot. Come on, <gasps> guys, you wasn't playing with them. The ten of cups. Come on. The magician in the reverse and the emperor. Okay, what's going on with this magician in the reverse? Oh, I get it. I feel like, okay, I feel like the female in this situation, whereas though she feels like, you know you can't hypnotize this one. You know you can't play no tricks. You can't play no games on this one because this one know you, but at the end of the day, you're the star of the show. Like, and this, this one is the emperor. This one is going protect you and hold you down aquarius i love this reading bitch shut your mouth shut your whole mouth can you spread this energy throughout everybody please shut your whole fucking face right now okay bitch you done came out a motherfucker shut down a motherfucker show bitch was like yeah i was getting my beauty sleep huh but the look the champ is here <laughs> the champ is here. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. the champ is here doom, 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 doom. the champ is here all right it was like, hold on, let me step up on this. Let me go, let, let, let me dust myself off and come sit down on this throne and show these motherfucker who the stars around this bitch, okay? Listen, do you see this here? I slay dragons. Do you understand? I am the one. Daniel, son, I am the one. I When I come through, I come through. And I come through as a champion. I come through victorious. And I don't come through. I don't listen. I told Someone told me the other day. You always got to prepare for the worst or whatever. I say, baby, if you don't play to lose, what the fuck am I preparing for the worst for? You already going to the situation with a losing mentality, preparing for the worst. Why the fuck would I prepare to lose, bitch? I play to win and play to win only. Doom, 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 doom. The champ is here. Doom, 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 doom. The champ is here. You got to come through a motherfucker with the mindset of a fucking winner. With the mindset of a winner. You got to know who to play with, who not to play. It's, it's motherfucking chess, not checkers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Aquarius know how to go and get their beauty sleep, how to go in, get their thoughts, their mind, get their whole bearing straight, everything, get their beauty sleep. And they know when to come the fuck on out and come down to show motherfuckers who run this shit. Okay? These bitches ain't running. What shit with y'all mouth? But the first hater step, the first hater get tough. These bitches ain't running. Shit with y'all mouth. Cause the first one of y'all step, the first hater get tossed out. Listen. Three, six. Mafia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mafia, mafia, yeah, Listen. I feel like, look. There's an ending of whatever the fuck used to make you emotionally fulfilled and whatever type of magical powers and manipulation and shit that whatever little games that you used to run on people before that was fulfilling for you like those days at end and those and and and, and like you're, you you have a real you have a real man now you see what i'm saying so you don't have to play these games you see what i'm saying because i feel like the aquarius woman is very very beautiful and the aquarius man is extremely handsome and it's like using what i got to get what i want not saying in a fucked up way but just knowing that you are beautiful you know that you are graceful you know you have a certain charm and you know that you can get your way and you can get what you want you see what i'm saying and i feel like you know with this emperor here 
You ain't even got to do all of that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to, like, it's an end to, you even have to play those type of games with somebody like that anymore because this one already knows you. So you know better to, in, to even try this shit with this one because this person know you. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you could be more yourself because this one got your back. Do you see what I'm saying? This one got your back. And every cup is being filled. Every checklist is being taken care of. Now it's just, I feel like you guys, it's just blowing your mind and it's driving you crazy how fast everything. Because I feel like everything happened very, very fast right here. <laughs> You're trying to figure out where the source of all this shit came from. Because it was just like, pow. Like one minute you was just like, oh man, I'm just going through all this shit. Fuck this nigga. I just broke up with this nigga. Oh my God, I'm lonely. And some say, bow. <laughs> like, I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, what the whole fuck? Let me get y'all a little bit of tea on this. Let me get y'all some tizzle. Let me get y'all a little tea on the tizzle. You know, give me some guidance for my Aquarius. <gasps> Please clarify his spirit. Give me the true tea about what's really going on in this spread right here for my Aquarius for June the 15th through the 30th. Thank you so much. Please give me the tea. What's the tea for my Aquarius? What's the tea for my Aquarius? What's the tea? Roses. Romance is in the air. I told you, Aquarius. Bitch, I'm not about to do. I am an Aquarius. I am Aquarius Reds. I am not Scorpio Reds no more. I'm Aquarius Reds. I'm changing my name. Okay. I'm Aquarius Reds. Hold on. Cheers. Toast. Okay, bitch. Can I take a sip? Excuse me. I'm Aquarius Reds. Nice to meet you. Okay, bitch. <laughs> I'm Aquarius Reds. Bitch, what? Firecracker excitement. I'm trying to tell y'all. This shit is pop, just popped off out of nowhere. I told you. What just fell? What just fell? Crib birth. I told you y'all to break that. I told you. Didn't I tell y'all y'all this nigga shot your whole fucking club? Y'all about to find out y'all pregnant, bro. Mo, you hear me? Oh my gracious. I don't even think we need no more tea. What? Ladder, climbing towards success. I told you the, the wheel of fortune right there. A fair woman dealing to a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair, or a light skinned woman. This could be a fair skinned woman or someone with blonde, gray, or white hair. Vase. Your secret admirer. Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. This is what I'm getting. And I feel like this. Okay, because you see the emperor and you see the star right there. What is this? Owl. Advice from a wise person. And what is this that came down here? Bear. Danger, especially in money matters. Okay, so I feel like. It's in finance. Okay. So. You gotta stop wasting my time. So excuse me please. So. I feel like everything just happened very very fast. Like I said. Romance is in the air. And it was excitement. And shit just popped off very fucking suddenly. And very quickly. Faster than you could realize it. Like. The birth or conception of a child or enterprise. I have a, some some of y'all Aquarius, y'all just gave birth or y'all about to give birth or some of y'all just found out that y'all are pregnant and y'all's relationship is climbing towards the ladder of success. It's climbing very quickly and everything happened very fast, fast, fast. But you know what I'm saying? It's everything is going good. There's a fair woman, though, that's a secret admirer. It feels like there's something missing in their life. Perhaps money, love, or goals. You know? So, whoever the woman is, especially if it's a light-skinned woman, someone with blonde hair, white or gray hair, they were the admirer in this situation. Like, they were the secret admirer. Or there might be a secret admirer around this situation, but I don't necessarily say that. 
I want to say with this vase, this fair woman really loves her secret admirer, but it's something lacking here. I feel like the love and the admiration from the admirer, that's not the problem. I feel like there, there's concern around money. There's concern around money. And they're saying that there's going to be some good advice coming to you from a wise person that's saying that there's danger, especially in matters of the money. You know, so I feel like everything happened very, very fast, very, very, very sudden. But this one is going to hold you down. Like, I don't, that emperor, that emperor is not going to let shit fuck up. Like, that emperor is going to go. That emperor is a CEO, is a boss, is a manager, is manager or boss material. Do you see what I'm saying? It says here, emotions are natural and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I feel like some of you guys are just... Y'all mind is going half crazy, but you can't leave them alone, you know? And you wondering if this is even worth holding on. I, I feel like you're so in love with this person. Things happen so fast, but things happen too quickly. And it's like your, it's, it's your, your mind has taken over. It says, give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way. Know you deserve to be and have all your heart's truly your heart's truest desires i feel like this is human nature and this was like i want to say it was natural like this like whatever however this happened it was like so fucking natural it was so fucking natural do you see what i'm saying emotions are natural and a necessary part of life why well, i didn't even realize okay anyway Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you're fighting against something that is so natural and so beautiful. And you're clouding your perception of something that is like a perfect vision. Because remember, I told you up here, you just trying to figure out. This person is like crossing the dot, the crossing the I's, dotting the T's. Whatever, y'all, y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, this person is, is filling in all the blanks. And, like, your life was so great, and now it just pops. You know what I'm saying? And you just like, what the fuck? But this one is like, but I'm the fucking emperor. Like, I got you. Like, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Like, chill. Let, like, this shit. <laughs> you know? But I, listen, if, if shit just happened, like I just start fucking with somebody and we just that shit. And you know what it's like for some reason. Do you see the do you see this car here? Do you see this car here? It's just like that longing, that thinking, that like girl, I just mm, mm, one more. It says when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and memories you share with those you love. So I, I want to say don't pass up on something that you're going to regret. Give thanks for the blessing of love soon coming your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Like you deserve to experience and like don't be ashamed of it like i feel like it's something maybe because of who this person is or something like that you feel like you need to hide this shit or just shit happen too fast like what are people gonna think like i just started fucking with this person and like this is my friend ain't nobody gonna know that we fucking with each other or i just met this person and shit has just been like this you good though like this you're good give me goddess and love like your dumb ass good I want. I kind of want to go to the relationship rebel deck, to the couples rebel deck. Yes, real quick, real quick on the hoes, real, real, real quick on the hoes, real, real quick on the hoes. Huh? Real, 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 real quick. 
give me some guidance for my couples because this is definitely new love i love this i love this energy right here give me guidance for this love give me guidance for this couple give me guidance for my aquarius my couples and you know i guess since i'm doing this for the couples i need to get singles too right Clarify this deck. Give me a rough card for my couples that are expecting. Or just my couples, my Aquarius couples for June 15th through the 30th. Thank you so much. Give my Aquarius couples guidance for the June. It said. It says, let shit go. Don't be so extra. Stop trying to control every damn thing. Hmm. And then it says, yes, work is important. It says, yes, work is important. Your partner is more important. Fuck your job. I feel like. Listen, I'm with you on that shit. And I also feel like it's, it's like it's like kind of fuck trying to put up and, and feeling like you got to work so hard to please other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you work hard and you trying to appease what other people think like like you like they paying you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they not like they not paying you like fuck the motherfuckers. Yes, work is important, but your partner is more important. Like, if your partner is telling you that you good and you ain't got nothing to worry about, you good and you ain't got nothing to worry about, like, stop being so extra and stop trying to, like, control everything and just let this love happen natural. And if this man say he's going to protect you and he's going to provide for you and, and y'all got the ten of cups, you know what I'm saying? Like, ten of cups, that's a happy house, that's a happy home, that's, like complete the complete total package the kids the beautiful yard with the picket fence the, the boy and the girl and the dog and like everything so it's like if he's telling you that he's going to provide that and you're good know that you're good for the singles the singles they're saying to move the fuck on okay singles this says move the fuck on forgive that shit it says forgive let that shit go for the singles and then it's saying, watch out, that shit could get ugly. All right, and I'm getting I'm getting that because I feel like maybe some of you guys might be having an ongoing battle with somebody. Like, this is a breakup or something. They're just saying, move the fuck on. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Then it says, forgive and let that shit go. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Like, whatever it is you're feeling about this shit, just move and let this shit go. Because watch out, shit gonna get ugly. Because you've been being shady. And I feel like you're gonna push someone to the point where it's gonna, it's gonna, go, it's gonna go left. You see what I'm saying? So, before I go left, just go right. Do the right thing. And just let motherfuckers do what they gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And just let that shit go and just move the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. But for the couple that got this situation where this person is coloring and, and, and crossing all the motherfucking T's and dotting the I's and everything. Um, yeah, you need to stop being extra and just let this person do. Look, master of the heart right now. Master of the heart, honey. Honey. Refusing to see. I feel like you guys are not refute whoever this is got your heart got your heart it's like mastered your heart like this person number one you've mastered healing your heart but this person just came through and just like got your heart like this person got your heart and at first i feel like you were just like trying to refuse to see Number one, that you got control of your heart, and then this person is not going to hurt your heart. You know what I'm saying? This person is not going to hurt your heart. 
there's a new vitality in this. Like, there's a new birth. There's something. I feel like there's something about this pregnancy or the thought of this pregnancy and just how fast things are going. I feel like it's just, it's scaring you. Your sacral chakras, yeah. It's scaring you where you feeling like you might want to take a change of focus. And your chakra chakras is all, you don't know what to feel. You, you, you're not sure if you, I don't know if this is someone that's a new mother or something that's never had children before. Or maybe this, I feel like someone is just not ready for this relationship. I feel like someone is like really, really scared. Because it's, I told you up here it says postponement. They try to postpone this. This is like the four swords. Like they want to retreat. They want to hide. They want to get their mind together. Like I told you, their mind is going crazy. They want to get their mind together. Like things just happen too fucking fast. And they're just like trying to figure out what the fuck. It's like they can't refuse to see this shit. It's so clear. Like they know that this person is trying to tell them to let go and allow them to take the lead. You see, because it's like the lead right here is at the end and it's in the reverse. I feel like y'all have a problem with letting someone else taking the lead. You mastered your heart. You know you could control your heart. And this person is trying to tell you that they're not going to hurt you, that they got everything. And I feel like you want to keep this little pretentious guard up but deep in your heart you know that this person got you and that you could trust the way that things is going here and the way things is growing but i feel like you just like you're fighting it for some reason i feel like you want to change your focus like you've been thinking about changing your focus and number one this shit is scary for you and i feel like you you don't feel like you're in control you feel some way about you feel some way about giving control to someone else. Even giving your body. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's something about this that scares the fuck that shit out of you. Give me guidance. That's all I say to you. I kiss you anywhere. Yes, I believe in it. It's like y'all are all in your head. Y'all are in your head. Especially if there's like financial situations going on. I feel like you guys might be refusing to see that this is about love. This is not about money. Money going to come and go. Y'all going to have good times and bad times. But if you genuinely got love there. And if you got someone. A lot of people are like, oh, I want a real man, I want a real man. But then when you get one, you don't want to let him take the lead and shit like that. Like, let this man show you. You know what I'm saying? And if shit is going, going fast, don't worry about the source. The source is love. The tower. Divine interventions. I'm trying to tell you, this shit hit you left field. You ain't even see this shit coming. This shit just blew your fucking mind. What is this? The two of swords. Yeah. The two of swords. It's like... But you can't, you can't fight this and not see this no more. It's like. <laughs> you're, you're coming out of this stalemate and this indecision. You, you know why that tower moment happened. You know why this unexpected thing just came in and just shattered everything that, that was going on in your world. Like, whatever the fuck. Whatever was going on in your heart and your mind and your soul before this person came, this person just completely shattered the whole perception of who you thought a man is, who you thought love is. And I feel like this person is showing you every fucking thing that you've been praying and asking for and it's scaring the shit out of you and you trying to find something to worry about. But like, oh my God, money. This motherfucker's like, man, I own my own business. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like even... Even with that, this person is like, I own my own business. And you like, man, I'm used to dating a motherfucker with a nine to five job where they got a check and they know that they getting paid every two weeks. What you mean you own your own business? Like, I feel like this person is trying to tell you that they're a successful entrepreneur and shit. And you just like, man, I don't know. Like, shit, I feel more comfortable if a nigga had his own job. Like, they like, you just like being pessimistic. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. And I, I really do feel like, yes, this, this hit you left field and you didn't 
didn't see this coming, but take that blindfold off and see your blessings in front of your face because I feel like, man, ain't y'all been praying for love? Like, and then y'all go through a whole bunch of bullshit in 2018. I remember what y'all was going through in 2018, Aquarius. Like, come on now. Look, the wheel of fortune again. And then the fucking ace of cups, bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? And then is this the king of fucking cups? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it, Aquarius. Are you kidding me right now with this love? Are you kidding me right now with this love? And then the three of cups celebration? Bitch, oh my God. Oh my God. So, the hermit soul searching and like right now you soul searching you like what the fuck is going on the empress i told y'all y'all pregnant the four pentacles you know that you it's like you trying to hold yourself back but at the same time knowing that you need to hold on to this like you just can't let this shit go like that the eight of pentacles you definitely painting a new picture you working this shit out with this one you not about to fuck up the seven of cups like i told you this shit it feels like you in a fucking fantasy like you just don't even understand what the fuck is going on bitch i cannot with y'all right now y'all better not fuck this up i swear for god Aquarius, if y'all get in your mind and if y'all sit here and nitpick and try to, well, because this shit is too perfect. So what if this somebody from your hood, everybody is the last person that anybody would expect for you to be? So what? They putting their dick in, if this man dick in their mouth? No, you is. Who gives a fuck about what they think? Girl, you better not. You better not let your mind, because I'm trying to tell y'all this is what y'all going to do. Y'all going to let your mind fuck everything up. Y'all gonna let y'all mind fuck everything up. Ooh. This shit hit you like boom. Who stepped in the room? Ooh. And I feel like y'all met each other. Like this whole thing linked up. Like y'all just like at a kickback or some shit like that. Y'all just like chilling. Either out chilling, enjoying the weather all out on the block or y'all was over somebody's spot or something and this is someone that you know this is someone that you know service work or this is someone that you know from work service and shelter like i feel like there's a safe umbrella like there's this a level of safety here a service, a shelter. Like maybe you guys work work in a in a shelter or something. Like where y'all help, y'all help. Um, yeah, like in a soup kitchen or something like that. Like y'all serve, y'all serve the homeless or like this man. He he has a shelter or something like that. He does some type of services to to. He does services to. Help shelter and feed people who don't have food. You know what I'm saying? That's what this person does. And it's like, yeah, I told you being pessimistic, the black, lack, rebellion, pessimism. You're, you're like being pessimistic. You're like, that's what you do. But I mean, like, girl, I swear to God, if you fucking play with me and fuck this up, I'm going to chop you in your neck, bitch, right while you pregnant. I don't care. <laughs> but, like, girl, what the hell wrong with you? Go get that fucking boy. Talking shit about him doing humanitarian shit. What you mean? The key, you better listen. I feel like I don't think anything else wants to come out. Nope. So listen, this is what I'm getting. You guys, first off, this person owns his own business. So where's the shade as someone owning their business? Especially if someone's doing humanitarian work. This is one this is someone that does humanitarian work. They feed the homeless and they shelter and then they feed the homeless. You understand? That's what this person does. They shelter and they feed the homeless. And maybe you don't know. This person is just telling you that they own their own business. And they're not telling you because it's not your business. Like, I feel like this person just really wants you to just like them for them. And not like them for their money. Like, they're telling you that you're good. You know? Like, if they got enough that they can shelter and feed people that are misfortunate, they damn sure got it to take care of you. Like, I want you to understand the key to this situation and how you gonna fuck it up is you, like, 
being a dark minded person. You see what I'm saying? Lack, mind state of lack, rebellion, pessimism. I feel like this shit is too good and you want to run or you want to make something wrong with this situation. There ain't nothing fucking wrong with it. And it's like this person is giving you the key to paradise and it's like you want to reject it because why this person loved you enough or this person was feeling you enough to bless you with a baby and want to take care of you and you want to like be pessimistic and like why because you used to work with a, a nine to five fucking working nigga. Fuck that shit. Hand me the CEO if you don't want to bitch. Like y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. You feel more comfortable with knowing a person got a nine to five. Like, this person pays other people. This person gets grants, for God's sake. This person is doing God's work. This isn't a worker. This person provides opportunity. This person provides shelter and opportunity and put food on people's table that don't have it. This person helps people in need, you know? And I feel like this person seen something enough in you. This person seen something enough in you where they seen good fortune here. Not just once, but twice. Not just once, but twice. Do you see what I'm saying? Destined opportunities. Good fortune, not once, but twice. You got the king of, the king of cups. Wait, you got the Ace of Cups, the King of Cups. I mean, you got everything here. I don't I don't understand what you... You should be celebrating. You should be rejoicing. You should be enjoying yourself. But you want to go and be the hermit and go do soul searching because why it feels too good? I want you to realize that your mind... This person, you gonna run this person away because they're going to think you fucking crazy. Like this person is upset and confused because I treat them too good or I saw something in them what, what do you mean so where, where where's where's the source where, where did all of this love come from why are you just because I do because I like your energy like there's no questions to love love is just love like what do you mean where's the source of your love anyway this has been y'all's reading I don't want you guys to sit there and get clogged up in fantasy and thoughts and illusion in your head where you're trying to be pessimistic and make something wrong in a situation where it's a true blessing and you're going to fuck up and miss your fucking blessing. Okay? So, I... please don't block your blessing. Please. Please don't block your blessing. This has been y'all reading Aquarius. Leaving these hoes delirious, girl. It's your world. Bye, child.